Hey guys, and welcome to the next video. This is YM Academy versus Stay Humble in the MLCW semifinals. After we were able to get the victory over the opponents in the quarterfinal match last week. So, here is the standings. We are up uh, 74 to 66. The outcome is pretty much over. They have no way of getting the perfect war, no way of winning, um, no way of getting extra percentage. So it's not going to be as exciting as the last one, but the attacks in the video actually are exciting, so stick around for that. We're going to do a Sui Mass Hog Rider attack for our base for to try and get the final triple in this war. If you look at the total um, attacks, I think we we have eight attacks left, but two of them are tunnel tunnel twelve, and both of them are me. So I have the only chance of getting this perfect war against Stay Humble here. So here's the plan. We're going to uh, copy this attack with a couple of improvements. King, Yeti, Blimp, and get the Town Hall and the Tesla Farm at 3 o'clock. Uh, luring out the CC. Uh, the Blimp and Yetis by themselves get the Town Hall, no need for a Rage or anything. Just a Poison spell. Baby Dragon and Loons for Funnel. I'm going to add a couple of Loons in my attack and get that Cannon down. As you can see in a moment, the Hogs split quite badly here and that's why the attack doesn't go through. Ice Golem and Queen at the top side get the King. And that's very good. I'm gonna keep that. And now the Hog Riders converge with one, uh, two heal spells, but somehow it's just not enough. There's too much point defense in the back end area of the base. So we're going to make our improvements on the attack and we're going to go in in a moment. Later on in the video, we're going to watch two other Hog Rider attacks, and that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, Tunnel 12 Hog Rider attacks, so that's the theme here. But yeah, this is the semi-final match, so the next match is going to be the finals of the MLCW Polar Vortex Division in uh, this year's uh, Winter League. And so that's going to be against... Uh, a clan called Mystic, which I've never heard of, but apparently they were able to get the finals, so they're probably pretty good. So look forward to that. So here we go. King and Wizard and Blimp. King is taking care of that side. Didn't really need the loon for uh, Seeking Air Mines, but did need that loon in order to take down that Tesla at the mortar, at the top side of the mortar, so then the king makes sure he goes down to the south area of the base. Poison Spell does take care of the baby dragon, which is uh, a little bit of a... Like, that could have been a problem if it hadn't, but it's all good. Split a couple of uh, hogs for the Archer Tower at 6, and the rest at the other buildings. <laughs> Loons and Baby Dragons for the Cannon and the Archer Tower. Keeps the Cogs in line. Rage Spell and getting rid of the Skelly Spells. The Queen and Warden Ability right over the Skellies. Queen and Ice Golem are going to take care of the... Um, going to take care of the King. And back end Hog Riders make sure that the main group don't go towards the outside of the base. So they stay inside, they get the mortar, they get the bomb tower. And now the hogs are going for the inferno tower. And now it's just, it's pretty much over at this point. The queen is up, and the queen probably can take care of the rest of the base almost by herself. But with the help of these hog riders and the last heal spell, we're going to be able to take the last defenses and get this perfect war for YM Academy. So that's quite exciting. That is another perfect war in the uh, playoffs here. We got a perfect war in the uh, round of in the round of twelve, 
which is the first round of playoffs, but I didn't quite have a, I didn't have a video on that one. So here are the other Hog Rider attacks from this war. Here, Nico, using his Yeti Blimp as well to get the Inferno Tower this time. And then he's going to send the Queen uh, to the to the gold mine, and then she's going to walk around and get a couple of important defenses on the inside of the space by the sort of by the corridor, by the air defense and the wizard tower sort of in that area. She's able to reach the town hall, the eagle, and the inferno tower from that area. So it's an interesting base design. And he's going to exploit it beautifully. Queen's making her way down. And eventually she's going to meet the Queen, and that's when we're going to be able to drop all the Hog Riders in order to take the rest of the space out. So at this point, the Queen, Enemy Queen, the Town Hall, the Eagle, and two Inferno Towers are down. And we have like 30 Hog Riders left, so this base is completely wrecked already. There's like, you don't even need to watch the rest of this attack to know how it goes. Making sure to still use proper deployment of hog riders, keeping all the keeping the main group inside the base by dropping some at six by the mortar and the archer tower, in order to keep the inside hogs inside the base and just have a, a couple of outside hogs take care of the outside defenses, so they don't get too distracted. Hog riders get to the last inferno tower, and that is it. Quite a good attack by Nico. Loon to tank the splash damage, but it's completely unnecessary. Smash the rest of the space already. We're going to watch one more attack, and then we're going to wrap up the video. Very good job. So this is by Muda. Also a Sui Hog Rider attack. And it's very similar to the style that I used uh, back in last year, when Town Hall 12 was the highest Town Hall level. One of my favorite attacks. King and Town Hall very close together makes it very easy to use this attack strategy. King is going to funnel and help the Queen get into the Town Hall with the help of some Wall Breakers and an Ice Golem. So this time he didn't need to use a wall wrecker or anything. Didn't need the wall wrecker uh, to help the queen. Queen's gonna be able to get into the town hall fine. Ice golem and baby, uh, ice golem and baby dragon CC is a little bit unusual, but he's able to take care of that. Looks like the baby dragon is still in the poison spell, so it's a little bit lucky. But sometimes you need some luck. Hog Riders take care of the air defense before the Stone Slammer takes too much damage, and then the rest of the hogs coming in from 2 o'clock. Just swarming the right side of the space. And... I think I remember this space, actually, from... I think this is the first space that Vitang used this strategy on in the World Championships. I didn't actually realize that when, <laughs> when this war was going on. Yeah, now that this attack is unfolding. It's very similar to the attack that uh, Batang used, but not quite exactly the same. But the same devastation, three stars with like 20 hogs up, still going around the base and getting defense after defense and just smashing this up. Yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, that is Hog Riders at Town of 12 and the semi-finals of this playoff match, this playoff bracket. Uh, we have one more war to do, and that'll be next week. So I'll see you then. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.